Hey, what is happening, you doofus ducklet? Finally tried out the Palkia V-Star with Area Zero, and I've been very impressed with this build so far. I still want to try out a build with Chi and Pao. I haven't got around to that yet with like a bunch of glass trumpets and E-switches, Chi and Pao's, stuff like that. Going to get around to that build at some point, but currently we're just looking at a straightforward Palkia build here today. Before I jump into it, though, I'm going to be posting this build. I do think there is some competitive viability with it over on my Metify group. So if you want to get some more insight from me on the list, take a look at my breakdown for it, or just ask me questions about it, or ask me questions about anything Pokemon TCG related, you can do that. You can gain access to that in the tier one of my Metify group. In tier two, I will be posting a matchup breakdown video with the Palkia deck and all the other competitive deck lists that I post over on my Metify group. So you can get access to that in tier two, along with meta breakdown videos as well. Got Dortmund coming up. Hopefully going to get one out this upcoming Sunday for the Dortmund Regional Championships. My thoughts, I'm going to wait and see what happens at the Champions League um, tournament major in Japan that's happening this weekend. They do have a new set that they'll be playing with, but seems like most of the stuff going around is still Stellar Crown. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then Deck Doctor Tier, Tier 3. Once a month, you can send me a deck list to play with on stream. I'll play with it, improve it. And you'll be able to watch it live or check out the VOD afterward to see my process. And then gameplay review. Once a month, you can send me a gameplay to review. It's that simple. You send me the gameplay. I'll look over it, look over it talk about what we want to be thinking about turn to turn for the situations that come up in the matchup we're up against, as well as uh, point out any mistakes that I think you made throughout the gameplay. So that's my Metify group. If you're interested in getting more insights from me on the Pokemon TCG on the more competitive side of things, check that out. Of course, the link will be in the description. Let's talk Palkia. Palkia has been around for a little while. It's been pretty good for a decent amount of its time around. Actually, you know what? To be honest, it hasn't, well, it hasn't been that good for that long. It kind of fell off pretty hard after, after Worlds, London Worlds. Uh, but it's back, finally, thanks to Area Zero Under Depths. A new stadium card that says, if we have a Terra Pokemon in play, we can have eight Pokemon on our bench. And Palkia's attack, some of you actually might not know what Palkia does because it really hasn't been a big deck as of late for like about a year, over a year to be honest. It's popped up now and then. It does show its face from time to time, but it might be a big deck moving forward from here. The Subspace Well does 60 damage for two water energy, plus 20 more for each of our bench Pokemon. So having access to eight bench, of course, that means on our side of the field, we can at the very least hit for 220 damage, plus 20 more for each of our opponents benched Pokemon. So we're hitting a lot harder than we used to with the Palkia. It's still gonna be tough to get up to those big 320, 330 numbers for like Dragapult EX and Charizard EX, but getting stuff like Raging Bolt and Ogre Pond, it should be no problem at all with this thing now. And then the ability, of course, super powerful, accelerate up to three water energy cards from our discard pile to our water Pokemon in any way we like. So of course, Palkia is the main attacker. We got a 4-3 of it in here. I like the heavy Palkia V line because there's a lot of aggressive decks in the format right now. And we do want to choose to go first with the deck pretty much into every single matchup. I can't actually, can't actually think of a matchup where we want to go second, even against the more aggressive decks like Raging Bolt, like Maridon, because we want to set up for a turn to attack ourselves. And we are an evolution Pokemon. So we want to like kind of push up a one prize into our active or set up multiple one prizes in play to, round, to play around Iron Bundle when we go first against those aggressive decks. And then look for that turn to Palkia V Star Swing. Uh, we are like a Terra build, right? We got access to the zero, the area zero under depths. The Terra Pokemon I'm choosing to play is the Wellspring Mask Ogre Pond. And I'm just going with one. Um, I have found with these uh, area zero under depths decks that aren't actual like Terra decks. They kind of just like play a Terra Pokemon to enable the area zero and the Noctowl and stuff like that. That it's pretty hard for our opponents to actually aggressively chase down our Terra Pokemon. I found the same thing with the Maridon deck. Like if they ever went out of my way, went out of their way to kill my Terra Mewtwo, I kind of just won the game anyways because they didn't remove my attacker from play for turn. And it is pretty similar with the Palkia deck. A little bit less so though because our damage is reliant on our bench. But we do have two Night Treasures in here so we can aggressively recover that Ogre Pond, get it back into play, get access to eight bench Pokemon once again. So that's our Terra Pokemon reason to enable everything. We've got a 3-3 three, three Noctowl line with the Jewel Seeker ability. Super strong ability. When you evolve your Hoot Hoot into a Noctowl, you can search your deck for two trainer cards, put them into your hand. So of course, we got the Fan Rotom to synergize with that, with the Noctowl there. For the supporting cast, we got we got the squad that you love to put alongside the Area Zero Under Depths, the Luminion, the Squawk ability, the Mewie X, the Fezendipity X, and the Radiant Greninja, of course, which not only is great synergy with getting water energy into the discard pile, so Palkia can charge itself up with Star Portal or charge up multi multiple Palkias that way, but 
also a great attacking option so yeah greninja is like our secondary attacker in this deck also we can attack with the water ogre pond i should mention the sob attack has actually come up a couple times to buy me some time in some matchups and then also the torrential pump for the water double colors energy 100 can shuffle three of the energy back attached to the uh, wellspring ogre pond and then we do 120 damage to one of our opponents bench pokemon so it's pretty similar to Greninja's attack. The trade-off is that it is a two-price Pokemon, but it does have more HP. So if we want to leave something in the active that has a little bit more HP than Greninja, we can do that. Uh, of course, the, another part of the differences of attacks is that Wellspring Ogre Pond does hit the active and one bench Pokemon, where Greninja could target like two bench Pokemon. So like Hailing Double, Curlia, stuff like that can be quite a bit better. Uh, for the trainers, supporters here, uh, going with an era to build. At first, I wasn't sure that I would actually end up liking the era to build, kind of like when I tried out Palkia Dusnor for the first time. Eventually, I came around, I was like, eh, I don't really like Irida that much in this deck. It didn't feel that good. I just went to like heavy Ionos, uh, I believe. But this deck, the era has actually felt really, really good. It does piece like everything together really nicely uh, on a turn. So four Irida, two Iono for some mid game, late game disruption. Or, or early draw power of course some bosses orders of course you need those gusts we got the prime catcher in here as well as the ace pick i tried out secret box for like a couple games and it was just not very good went back to the prime catcher pretty quickly uh, one card that i don't play in here that i've seen a little bit of is the gengar it was just super awkward to find and get into the discard pile just really really awkward to get into the discard pile so don't have it in here right now uh, for the pokemon search cards we got four nest ball of course which i could play more but i can't and only three ultra ball and i could see going down to two the irida really covers a lot of our pokemon search and the ultra ball are just really clunky and awkward and really not that good of cards to begin with so yeah they're really tough to utilize efficiently four definitely felt like overkill three has felt a lot better i definitely have not missed the fourth ultra ball at all and i could see trying out going down to two i doubt we would ever go any lower than that but possibly two is the right count to go with i've got a lot of energy in here so we got the four or the nine uh basic water and then i have three earthen vessels to help find the energy and then also night stretchers are ways to enable the energy as well i find with this deck with an attachments return is really really bad and if we can get ahead in the prize exchange and we can attach energy every single turn of the game one's one to like four or five we like almost always can win the game so whiffing energy attachments is really really bad whiffing early energy attachments is even worse so pretty heavy on the energy search and i guess decently heavy on the recovery with the double night treasure but night treasure can literally get anything so uh, one switch card we need a little bit of mobility the canceling cologne to combo with the moonlight shuriken but also really really good up against stuff like the fighting ogre pond to just get through that and want to kill with a bulky v star helps us be aggressive and consistent one energy switch and one glass trumpet so a little bit extra energy acceleration in the deck so glass trumpet can only accelerate to colorless pokemon if we have a terra pokemon in play so we can have the Ogre Pond in play and then use Glass Trumpet and accelerate water energy to our Noctowl or Squawkabilly or Fan Rotom, depends whatever we have in play. And then we can E-switch it over to a Palkia or the Greninja. The really cool play you can line up with this is you can hit with like back-to-back -back Greninja attacks. You can, you know, use Palkia's V-Star power, load up three energy on your Radiant Greninja, maybe attach for turn to Palkia and then use Greninja KO, I don't know, two Comfies or something. And then your opponent, maybe they gust around your Palkia. Uh, or excuse me around your radiant greninja chaos something off your bench you can go okay cool glass trumpet to i don't know some hoot hoots e-switch off a hoot hoot to a radiant greninja attach for turn and then snipe again getting another double prize turn on those setup pokemon uh, another card that i'll mention here that a lot of people suggested to me when i was playing through this and building this deck was b barrel i don't hate the idea of it i don't think i'd want to run b barrel and mu x and the mu x has actually felt really really good Pheasantipity is really, really good, obviously, but every deck plays around it. If you have Pheasantipity in play, they're going to Gust KO it. So having a Mew EX alongside the Pheasantipity is really, really nice. So if they Gust KO your Pheasantipity, you have the Mew to rely on. But on top of that, there's a lot of situations where your opponent will purposely not take knockouts to not enable your Pheasantipity EX, but still progress towards a win condition. So having some consistent draw power in play, like the Mew or the B Barrel, would be really, really nice. I like the pivot of the Mew, though. The free retreat is really nice as well. So. But I could see including the B barrel in here. Maybe cutting like a 1 1 knock tower line, get B barrel in in those slots. Who knows? Uh, heavy ball in here, of course. We got a ton of one prize Pokemon, some that are really, really important, like the Ogre Pond and like the Radiant Greninja. So, yeah, heavy ball is sick, of course. One accompanying flute. This is actually pretty sick in here. I started out when I first made the build, I had four. I had four flute. I was like, screw it. Let's try four flute. Okay, that was bad. Worked our way down to two and scaled it back a little bit further to one, but the one has still felt really, really good. In general, I did use the flute a decent amount because it looks at the top five cards of your opponent's deck and it puts Pokemon from those five cards, or you can, onto your opponent's bench, which further increases Palkia V-Star's damage. And it can be like disruptive, weirdly, in some ways as well. Um, I was up against like a Gardevoir deck and I filled up their bench with like Klefki 
so they couldn't like bench drift loon or anything like that to take a big one hit ko on their turn so it can be like weirdly disruptive as well sometimes uh if your opponent doesn't go out of their way to fill the bench which they're gonna try and avoid in general they don't really want to fill their bench because that gives us more damage for our palkia so in that sense if they leave some bench space open then we can put stuff that they would never want in play on their bench or put more liabilities on in play on their bench like if they don't use their squawk ability early in the game we could find that with the flute and load it up there um, so really really cool plays can come up with the flute and last we got the four area zero most of my area zero decks that i played with so far haven't played secret box so i really love really 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 like the four area zero in builds like this because you really want to find it early on and just open up your bench immediately that's even more so important with this deck than like the maridon deck that i showed you guys uh about a week ago a couple days ago um yes yeah, really really important because our bench gets clogged super fast with bad cards uh and we, so we need to open up our bench as soon as we possibly can to actually make sure we can kind of fill it out have a plenty access to plenty of palkias and draw support pokemon as the game progresses all right that's my palkia v star build let's jump into some action i got a lot of it i played a lot of games with this deck i went on a 11 game win streak i think uh, at some point in playing this deck which is pretty sick let's go ahead let's jump into it i would like to play one of these <clears throat> I don't need to. I would just like to. I would like to know. <sighs> it's tough. Let's just start with the concealed cards. Okay. Palkia, no Palkia prize. Did I prize anything else though? Iron bundles. There's a Hoot Hoot prize. There's a Fan Rotom prize. Dude, actually, I have yet to activate Fan Rotom. Um. Okay. Grab that. Play this. Need the Hoot. I mean, I could go with the Fan Rotom instead, to be honest. I don't hate that. I think I actually like the, the fan ready grab here a little bit more. Because if they bundle here, I also don't want to lose my Hoot Hoot. Which would be like the end result of that. Then actually, I think I use one of the Noctowls as fodder here. So I want to play a Vessel. I want to attach for turn. Missing attachments sucks. And then... Ultra Ball away and energy. I need to get another Palkia V though as well. So I can go. See why four Palkia V is so good. Because I would I don't want an Ultra Ball here, but I kind of have to. I could just give up these two. I should be I should be able to make it work off this. Yeah. Honestly, having like the Noctowl in the discard pile is not even like terrible. Um Oh wait, I can't unlock my bench currently. Oh no, I can through the Noctowl. I can through the Noctowl. Oh. Don't forget the attachment. Chillin', chillin'. Why do the pros in this game seemingly not give up any ground? How many ground the field of placements? Seems like the skill gap should be less when you and others are out giving lists and pro play advice constantly. Wait, what? I don't even know what you're. Wait, what? what I don't even know what you're asking there. Um, I rule. Why do the pros in this game seemingly not give up any ground? You have to, yeah, restate your question. I'm not even gonna try and dig. I'm not even trying like work that one any further. Um, <clears throat> knock won't work without Terra. Oh, shoot. Maybe I have trolled, actually. Maybe I have misplayed. We'll make it work. We'll figure it out. I'm not worried about it. Oh, after the Noctowl, I can get Nest Ball. Nest Ball Stadium, though. Why did Control Axe just vanish? It didn't. Still very much a deck. Oh, wait, but I need a tower, a Terra to use. Oh, dude, I did troll. No, I did troll. <laughs> How do I have to? Oh, yeah, my bench is just cooked. How could I have fixed it? Was there a way to fix it? That's so awkward, actually. Okay, I had to keep this Ultra Ball to find the thing to be in the turn. That would have fixed it. That would have fixed it. Just ninja hit hit something. Yeah, or if they take a knockout here, that'll open up a bench face for us. So. Shoot. I'm not supposed to make the correct play. Um I didn't give the switch here. I think it's fine. 
see how it goes. Nice. Nice. Insane plays. Never punished. Get this, this, and then this guy gets Stadium Ultra Ball? I guess, right? Ah, sure. All right, my first, my first time you see Noctowl. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is it. The Jewel Seeker, let's get him. What was I gonna get? This and Ultra Ball. Oh, I didn't need the stadium this turn though. Oh, I guess I didn't need to get stadium. Um, sure. How many boss do I have left? Do I have three in here? I do. I think I'm gonna pop the ability now. I could possibly go with a Hydro Breaker next turn to KO Squawkabilly or something. I would need another energy, but I think playing like this makes the most sense. Oh, shoot. Hang on. How much damage am I doing? <laughs> I didn't realize I had a Bravery Charm there. 100. 200. 220. Ah, oh, shoot. 100. 200. 280. Hmm. Alright. I guess we're not yeah. We're not one hit KO like we thought like I thought we were. Wait, I maybe should have actually held the Luminian and not the boss. Yeah, I should have kept Luminian over boss there. It's definitely a mistake. Alright, we have a pretty good draw. That was a pretty good draw off the prize cards. I definitely should have done yeah, I should have done that definitely for sure. Dude, these two prize trade off matches like this are so stupid. This is just dumb. Am I still doing late night tournament? Probably not, no. Try to clarify. The rich keep getting richer even though we're in an age where there's more resources than ever to get good. What is your take on the skill gap? The skill gap is very large uh, overall. Uh, we have entered, we entered like the information age on like a, we entered the information age of the Pokemon TCG like back in like 2015, 2016. Uh, and has only expanded since then, but it's still not enough. Like information is not the only thing that matters. Simply like knowing a good list doesn't like do enough and doesn't teach you how to innovate or play with it perfectly. So there's a lot of information out there. A lot more people are like getting coaching or there's like the master classes happening and like Metify groups. Um, so it, it, that does lower the gap, but that just, but that just proves how big the gap is in the Pokemon TCG. How much information is out there and how much better the better players still are uh, just proves how big of a gap there is in the pokemon tcg like how yeah how much skill there is in the game which is like a good thing right all right see some squad here we should get like yeah we should like Jippity, Mew, Ooten on him. I don't know. Do we need the Gengars? Maybe we don't even need the Gengars. Maybe I'm like, maybe just like one Gengar. Probably cut down to like one. I don't really want to play the boss unless I have to. So we'll try and avoid that. We might have to. Let's see what this gives us. Let's have a peek. Let's have a, what you got? What you got in there? Oh, nothing. All right. So I guess it's attached boss. KO the bill. Oh, I can conceal the cards here. Hold up. Yeah, I can conceal cards. Concealed cards here is fine. All right, never mind. We're not gonna wait. Well, now we definitely do enough, right? Why am I even questioning it? Is it enough though? Is it? Is it really enough? Dude, the lag is like happening again for me. Dude, hold. On. I need like. I should like. Maybe it's. Maybe it is my computer. I pull up my task manager. 
Oh, wait. Why are the pockets prized? <laughs> I was like ultra balling for pocket V-Star and I got an iron bundle. I see it. Yeah, yeah, but it could still be my computer technically. Could be my computer. I think treatment at the same time doesn't help. Uh, I mean, that's just not... I mean, like, you're not wrong, Mr. Yan, but that's not how... Like, there's still, like, a maximum... There's a maximum amount of resources PTCG Live can take and streaming can take. My computer should be good enough to do it all, probably. But I have started streaming on TikTok again recently, so, like, that could be it. Like, obviously, it doesn't help, but that's, like... Uh... What do I want to say? Like, yeah, it obviously doesn't help, but, like... I don't even know like what I'm gonna try, what I'm trying to say. It's not necessarily how it works either. <laughs> like it could be it. It could be it. Streaming won't affect it. What are you gonna do? Not stream? No, streaming could affect it, but like also, I don't even like know what I'm thinking about here. I don't think my streaming is affecting it though. No, Azul said he has a thirty. I have a thir I have a thirty eighty. I thought it was a thirty nine. I have a thirty eighty. It might be something else. Those cards were dedicated. Uh. Those cards have dedicated encoders just for streaming. Yeah, like a theoretic that should be. I am doing a lot of things though. I maybe need to scale it back just a little bit. But also, if it is just the PTCG live update, then like you know, you appreciate the the raid there. Rassix the bun. Be a good stream. Welcome in. If you're doing a lot, it could be CPU bottlenecking. Maybe. My CPU is at 50%. CPU is at 80% or 55, 75. It's down from what it was, though, as of late or recently. Only at 3080. <laughs> uh, yeah. How much RAM slash speed? Uh, at 64, 3200. It's definitely not the RAM. Check memory usage. It's not the memory. It's not the memory. Possibly. I didn't think about that. See, that's where like my experience is lacking. I could get the. Mm. I think I like the Greninja grab though. I mean, my RAM works fine besides that, though. So does that even make sense? Does it make sense for my RAM to be bad? But it only comes up when I try and overclock. Or push stuff. And have no other problems with my RAM besides that. You have 216? No, I have 232. Well, I have 232 now. I guess the RAM that I have currently, I actually haven't done anything with. You would notice other issues if the RAM was toast. Yeah, like I have zero issues with it unless I try and push it. Well, I, now I have different RAM in my computer. I haven't tried anything with the RAM I currently have. Have you con <laughs> contacted a RAM ranch? No, not yet. Should I? Great turn one. Yeah, we're cooking. Have you contacted the LA Rams? Not yet. But you know, I wouldn't mind you know, doing something with the LA Rams. If they're out there listening. Let's 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 hook up. What are we doing? What are we cooking? All right. Well, sour cream. I'll try an XMP because the RAM I have in here is not the RAM that I had before. I'll XMP the RAM I have and just see how it goes. Are the RAM six in the optimal slots? Yes. Uh, on, well, I'll do that on startup or later today. Or on startup going into tomorrow or something. I'll do it just for you. Let's see here. Let's see here. I don't really want to conceal cards here. I don't want to whiff. No, concealing cards is fine. I don't want. I don't want to whiff an attachment for turn, but it's fine. Ooh, that's good. Oh, wait a second. Dude, this is so awkward. I can't owl. It's so awkward, man. 
Oh, I can now. I just need to do a lot to get there. Hmm. Like if I don't draw into like, oh, it's just weird. It's just weird. Yeah, it's just awkward. I don't know. Like it, it's not as smooth to get into the area area zero as I would like. It could be smoother. I think I'm just gonna play this first here. I have an attached return yet, so I kind of want the vessel. But I don't want a vessel. Oh, but I guess I'm drawing one anyways now. So I should have just drawn one off restart first. So I'm gonna go bench draw one. So I should just like drawn one first there. Fine though. Like our setup is okay. No complaints yet. Wait, did I discard my canceling cologne? Was that last game? No, it was last game. Okay. I don't understand how you bring out Gengar. Its ability just takes itself from the from the discard pile to the bench. How good do you think the Sarah Legi X from next set is gonna be? No clue. What's the SSD's read slash write speed? I have no clue. I assume I want a fast one though, if I'm going to be downloading to it, right? I can look it up real fast if you want me to. What is your priority against Charge X with this deck? I mean, take two prize knockouts. Uh, I mean, it's just board state dependent. Like you want to use Greninja when it's uh, applicable. Like if you can KO double, why not dump the owl there? Rome's just more more of a liability, right? I guess I could have dumped the owl because I could have night treasured the owl stuff back. That's fair. That's fair. What's your favorite format of the Pokemon you ever played in? Uh, the next format that I play in. Oh, I was wondering how my bench is being limited. I thought this was an area zero. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> um, just concealed cards first. I could KO double comfy now. Is that the better play? Because that play is going to be harder to do the later the game goes. Oh, also, I can I owner them. Like, I can I owner them and KO both their comfies. Like, that's just like too good to pass up, right? I feel like that's too good to pass up. And then we'll just like KO this late. Well, I guess it could be hard to want to KO this off if I'm removing all this Pokemon off their bench, though, right? Not impossible, though, to get there. Well, like, this is a pretty good play. I mean, I guess, like, I owning them isn't that impactful because they are literally drawing six. Yeah, I'm sorry, I think it's uh, just bad encode settings. The XMP causing issues sounds suspect, but still. I mean, I don't have XMP enabled right now. That's what I was saying, though. What's your prediction for Dortmund? What's going to do well? I have no clue. I haven't really thought about it that hard. We are kind of cooking so far with this deck, right? Like this is this has been pretty pretty good. Like I feel like the deck's actually been cooking. I thought I was gonna have to like work on the list a little bit more to get like the results that I was looking for, but so far it's felt fine. What do you think of Don? Uh, it's interesting. I assume you mean Maridon. Have a peek. What do you got going on there? What are we looking at here? 100, 180, 140. Ooh, we're close. We're not there yet, though. Um, 
It's just like a setup angle. I forgot our board state angle. Well, giving them comfy is a little weird then that for me to do, right? Yeah, giving them comfy is a little bit weird for me to do if I'm doing like this angle. Yeah, I maybe trolled a little bit. Just a wee bit. I actually don't even want Palky. I think I want Luminian. Or actually, I could put this other one of these in play to keep my board wide. So they can't just like KO this and then close my board off. I also want to put Dippity in play so they can't just go like Roxanne Knockout. I mean, I could have, if I concealed cards, like I could have got there, but I think it's better just to confirm the retreat knockout and continue to put on the pressure. I could also just like not draw a prize card, this turn, which wouldn't be terrible. Especially now that I know that they play uh, Prime Catcher. I literally can't find. Oh no, I did find it. Gotta be it. Okay. I just win if I have energy, right? Am I tripping? No, I literally see energy and I win. This deck is bonkin. Uh, the the hard drive that I have currently. Hold up, dude. Some of the squad is always prized. Is this ever a Billy angle? Am I ever getting Billy with it? Maybe I do just get Billy with it actually. So maybe I go like this. The young hoot. Wait, two hoots? That's fine, it's fine. I didn't expect to see two hoots prized. It was a shock, unlike any other. Dude, why is hoot always prized? Also, why didn't I check my prize cards when I did the hoot? This is dis This kind of turn one, though, is disgusting. See, this is my problem with Secret Box, though. How do I play Secret Box out of this hand ever? Like, how do I ever play Secret Box out of this hand? It feels like it's not possible. Like, I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like it's not, it can't happen. Like, I don't have three cards to discard. I mean, that's not going to be every hand ever, but like, obviously that's this hand right here for sure. When the nest balls be hidden. True. You're the first then box. There's, there's no reason. Well, this hand, there's no reason to box. I guess maybe that's a little bit different, but um, you can get two cards from Hoot. Yeah, but why would I get two cards from Hoot to discard them to then get three cards from the other thing? It doesn't make any sense, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut the... I think I'm going to cut the secret box. I think it makes sense in this deck. Why not the belt? What do you mean? Box makes no sense. Yeah, I think it's got to go. It just doesn't... We, we, need, we don't have that much to discard. I'm also going to still cut down on the Ultra Ball count a little bit, just down to three. Is Rotom bugged? It never gives me the chance to look for the Pokemons. Uh, Rotom only works on your first turn of the game. It only works on literally turn one. I wasn't even paying attention to what we were playing against here, but we're up against Dragapult. Maximum Belt. Because uh, Maximum Belt's just Cheeks. Literally trash card. That's ultra terrible. we bust it if you can use it every turn yeah <laughs> if you can use rotom every turn just like i would probably quit until they until it rotates i'd go like become a hermit for like a couple years or something if, if you could use fan rotom every single turn every deck would just be a four knock towel engine you just sit there with a rotom on your bench and you're just like three hoots yeah you i own me okay fan call three owls turn two double candy dust snore uh quad candy dust snore into ursa luna briar uh terrapagos whatever the Something like that. <clears throat> what do you think about the Blood Moon or Saluna or so, uh, 
the Blood Moon Ursa Luna Dustnar deck. I don't know. It has, looks like it has potential. I haven't tried it though. I mean, like after you uh, after playing five games, your opinion on how the deck should be built is formed so much more. So I think it's better to wait till then to post lists. Uh, oh, you mean like in the Discord or whatever? Oh, I'm always just like sending the most updated list into the Discord, if that's what you mean. They're doing a lot of cooking over there just to get turned to Greninja. In. If First Luna was Terra, it'd be broken in this format. It would be absurd, yeah. No, for YouTube before set releases. Oh, no, I like doing the the pre the pre release videos. I like doing the pre release videos. I mean, yeah, I'm just taking out their goons. I don't even, I don't even know what to say. This is pretty straightforward. What's the hand again? Vessel. Mm, wait, is it even correct? Is correct sequencing? No, this should be correct sequencing. Are you even sequencing optimally? You even sequence optimally, buddy? Triple Owl could happen. I don't need this right now. My Heavy Ball pro- No, I played Heavy Ball, right? No, I didn't. Wait, no, it's in the prize cards. I did play it. I want to find an energy off this. Now I only have three energy in the discard pile. I don't really need another Pokey of V. Man, second vessel being prized really just kind of sucks. Um, if I'm gonna get like I own it aggressively and they're gonna stay in the game, then honestly, probably setting up Mew is the best thing to set up here. So off of this, I'm gonna get. I'm not getting knocked out next turn. I could grab this and just establish that. And then I want to switch as well. Sure. This is so much energy. Like, within the first two turns of energy attachment is just so bad. I mean, I could go like play, play. Ah, it's just not happening. Oh, I can't even use the trumpet here. I shouldn't have taken the trumpet. Well, I guess I have it for next turn. I should have. All I need was switch there, I guess. Wait, what did I get off the Yurida? The vessel? Oh, okay. Yeah, feels bad. Oh, well. Here we go. It's like fine. It's like a, a fine turn. Being behind in energy attachments just kind of sucks. Yeah, we're going to cut that. <clears throat> What's wrong with attach retreating? Oh shoot, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I didn't attach retreat there. I literally just, yeah, I messed up for sure. I didn't even need to use an owl at all. I could have used zero owls. I could have gone attach retreat. Yeah, I overcooked that for sure. <laughs> I definitely overcooked. I thought I was uh on track with the cooking. Oh, a little overcooked there. Yeah, I could have attach retreated. Oh no no no. Well no no no. Yeah yeah. yeah. Uh. I was trying to like hold out for an attachment, but that it, the attachment never came. So yeah, I should have done that differently for sure. <clears throat> All's cooking just for them to scoop. Now hang on, they're still here. Now hang on there, Sonny. Let them cook. Yeah, I definitely should have done that differently. 100%, you're right. I overcooked. Now I could KO double Dreepy. The problem with that is, I guess I could just go KO double Dreepy here. Because then they don't get to attack next turn. Because if I go Palkia and knock out Pheasantipity or Rotom. Yeah, if I go Palkia and knock out Pheasantipity or Rotom, then they could go attack with Dragapult this turn. Which I don't really want. I just have to wait like two turns to like manual attach twice or something. I should have benched Mew, to be honest. For sure. Because if I got iono would here, or unfair stamp, which is pretty unlikely. It's probably Iono. Um, it'd be tough. It depends. If they attach... Oh, that's annoying. I can get a boss off secret, secret box, though. Um... 
Double GP ends the game. If I KO double GP? Not really though. It doesn't really actually end the game. Like there's still a game to be played here for sure. Even if I do that. Oh, are they just trying to trap my Greninja in the active with this gemstone? Do they even have a counter catcher here? There's no recovery from that. What do you mean? Yeah, they can. They just bench another GP and then I can't KO it. I won't be able to attack again next turn. If I, if I attack with Greninja here, I literally can't attack next turn. Well, I could attack with maybe Assault Landing. There quite, quite literally is a way. I also need to find an energy this turn as well. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go get an Iono. Oh no. I honestly forgot about that part of, uh, of everything. Oh no, I can stretch her for the energy. I can stretch her for the energy. Okay, chillin'. Oh, there's no energy in here because it's... Oh no! Wait, could I have taken one less energy? I was trying to pop but I don't want to bench it because it has two or three cost. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm throwing. I don't want to pray. I could just like not take any energy. <laughs> I think I could have not taken the energy. Oh. She love to see it. I don't even think I'm gonna attach either of these. I'm just gonna keep them in the deck. It's very possible I get Iono here, so I could like shuffle the deck and then increase my other drawing back into them. Having this thing set up as an attacker is kind of nice, but yeah, definitely not worth the trade off here. Obviously. Also, another reason that Luminina is probably still good in the deck is because like yeah, Noctowl was great. Obviously, having Hoot Hoot on the bench that can become a Noctowl was really dope, but. If my opponent just KOs my like lone hoot hoot and play to stop me from like like if they go like if my opponent goes I own no counter catcher KO hoot hoot I'm like well I have this ultra ball that I now can't use right so Luminian probably is still just good um yeah we might put Luminian back in here it would be kind of funny if we just go fan order knockout Dreepy now that would be a good meme we'll see what else they have this turn. <laughs> How's the opponent continue here? I would have had a uh, went to the next table after that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's still it's still possible here. It's not impossible. I like I can't attack next turn. Like this is exactly what's happening. He's like I literally can't attack this turn. So they have outs. They have outs. Let them cook. Did I miss the turtle checkmate? No, I don't check turtles. We have, yeah, we have, we could go, we could go for it, I guess. <laughs> uh, and we still have a boss left. Dude, boss the Dreepy here is so criminal, though. Yeah, they could go Night Stretcher or Super Rod plus Poffin off of the forest. So they still have the, actually, the possibility to get out of there. Can't retreat? Well, well, this thing doesn't have the gemstone. This is the gemstone. So once this goes to the active, they'll lose access to gemstone. We'll be fine. We swap secret box for prime after this one. Yes, yes. We're gonna we're gonna update the list again after this. What decks are that are good in this format? Don't run area zero. Most most good decks right now do not play area zero. Charizard, Dragapult, uh, Raging Bolts. Oh well, that's cringe. That's just kind of cringe. Let me get the let me get the knock, bro. Unbelievable. In fact, if you look at the results from Japan, no good decks, no decks that have won a city league yet have played area zero. I'm pretty sure it's like, it's like 5% at max. So now I'm not saying area zero is bad. It's a good card. And we're very much not done with this format yet. Just saying like, just putting that out there. It's a bit of information. We bit of information. I think playing this is correct. I don't have the vessel though still, right? Wait, this feels kind of bad to actually, actually done to be honest. Maybe I just go like get this. Feels weird. I could like ultra ball away this, the Iono and that, and then draw two with Mew. But then if I whiff, what do I do? 
Oh no. This is actually kind of awkward. I don't really want to. I don't. Mm. I like value thinning out the hand almost more to just draw with Mew, but then that feels. Maybe I should just play the Iona to begin with. But I need to shuffle the deck because all my energy is on the bottom, right? Oh, wait, I can get Noctowl. Oh, shoot. I'll draw with this first, though, because I don't want to Noctowl if I don't have to. What about that owl, though? There's a hoot hoot there. A boss in there, but I have a boss in hand. I need to draw into energy next turn. Maybe I just get flu to try and like mess with their bench. Sure. He does just burn that card out of my deck as well, I guess. <clears throat> There's a path to late night tonight. Probably not. I'm probably going to keep just do a bunch of cooking. No, uh, no late night. Was an Iono good there? I mean, Iono doesn't matter if I don't draw energy. Iono just doesn't matter if I don't draw energy. If I don't draw energy, like they're gonna, they have four Sealstone and Quick Search. Like what is Iono stopping? The answer is probably not very much. Um, So like, yeah, it's more important that I just get my energy for turn so I can like threaten the win. I think I just wanna be able to threaten the win. Threatening, threatening is too important here. They do need like Turo this turn though to move this or like play a switch. So they didn't have the tool card. Is their tool their tool must be prized then? They prize the Terra tool. I just checked there was one Palkia Terra and a couple Raging Bolt AZU decks that won City Leagues. Yeah, so it's not a, but it's not a lot though, right? It's like like I said, five percent, uh, maybe ten percent of decks are Area Zero decks that are winning in City Leagues. Which I don't think is evidence that all the areas are zero decks suck. I think it's evidence that a lot of the good decks that were good last format are still good decks and aren't getting like pushed out by area zero decks. Bolt zero. It's like 40%. Am I just trolling then? Are you? Did you count all of them? There's no way it's 40%. <sighs> Maybe power glass is the way to accelerate? Uh, No, 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 probably not. All right, liability, draw power. I should get rid of the owls, right? Because Phantom is an attacker. Oh, I only had to get rid of two. That's still correct though, I guess. They did have the turbo. That does mean, okay, they did turbo, but that does mean my, oh, but I can't play, even play this nest ball now. Maybe I should have just played it last turn to burn it, but I was thinking of like, I don't know what I was thinking of, to be honest. All right, it's okay. We'll just top deck energy here. I don't know what I was thinking of with this nest ball, to be honest. I was, I was thinking of something though. I had some thought. Any good deck worth practicing for the Stellar Crown League Cup? Uh, any, any of the good decks. I remember when Dragon Ball was winning uh, City Leagues and then when we all learned it was Dog. <laughs> yeah, it was like dominating. It was like dominating in Japan, like early City Leagues. Uh, it was like winning 25% at least of the City Leagues, at least 25%, uh, which is pretty crazy. And then, yeah, just Dog. <laughs> it wasn't truly terrible, but if enough people are playing it, it's gonna obviously win. All right, top deck. Oh, dude, every freaking time. Wait, am I doing enough? Okay, yeah. Dude, I don't miss. I don't miss. What is the point of missing when you could just not and you get that dub? Why didn't they put the four in the owl? Um, I don't know. Good question. All right, is it a good question? I don't even know if it is. I have to like, think about the math, to be honest. I don't know if that is a good question. Maybe it just never makes sense to put damage on owl. 
if there is something prized. No. Would have been pretty good. All right. Would have been pretty sick if there was something prized. I do get to draw a card with Mew though in this sequence, so it's like not that bad, but not terrible. Much pretty good for next turn. All right, we're kind of cooking. This hand's kind of cooking. Ultra Ball first to see if there's a prize. I mean, it doesn't really matter though, because if I if I if I'm gonna Ultra Ball, I'm gonna Ultra Ball away these two cards, and then I'm gonna play the Heavy Ball. So I may as well Heavy like, and then I would hold the Heavy Ball, but I'm always playing the Heavy Ball because I'm always gonna draw with Restart. So I may as well just play the Heavy Ball first, because depending on what's prized, I might Ultra Ball for something else, right? Because if I prize the Palkia, or I guess I could choose what I Ultra Ball for based on the Heavy Ball. Oh, so it just doesn't matter. As well, playing one over the other just actually just doesn't matter. If I check my deck, I would check my prize cards. So using the Heavy Ball itself first is just faster. Because no matter what, I play the heavy ball, right? Because if I want to potentially use the heavy ball, I can't ultra ball it away, so I have to ultra ball first. And then I'm going to play the heavy ball because I'm going to use restart anyways. But my initial explanation was poor because um, it'd be like that sometimes. That's it. Playing some cheese. Some cheese and McCheese. All right. I do want Vessel. Evolve. I need like to double Vessel here, right? Yeah. Um. Sure, but what am I getting off the Owl then? I'm gonna go bench, evolve. I want to keep prime. Oh, I guess I have to get like a dead card and a vessel here. Sure. Okay. Whatever. Um. Uh, none of these are dead cards. <laughs> none of these are dead cards. Um. Ultra Ball does be a terrible card though. All right, sure. All those cards are pretty good, though. I want to draw into an energy here. Vessel away energy, conceal cards away energy. I still have two energy to work with. Probably don't need more than that. I'd rather draw into other cards here, I think. Let me see where the Hoot Hoot and the Pidgey, right? I don't think I care about the Duskulls in this situation. The Hoot Hoot and the Pidgey. I attach active. Screw it. We're in. Oh no, but then they go candy dust on KY active and I'm just like stalled for a turn. Oh man, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> yeah, I should have attached to the Palkia. Not the active. Because I'm just going to get stalled for a turn here. Like they're just going to go candy dust on knock on my active here. Well, I mean, they're not guaranteed that, but like they could get that. And I don't like need to Greninja again next turn to like play the game. So like, yeah. <clears throat> now Dragon Ball is a good deck. Do you think... Uh, we won't see more Regidrago. No. Dragon Ball being like uh, a good deck has nothing to do with Regidrago's existence in the format. Uh, or yeah, because like they're, they function differently. Like the decks that counter Regidrago are like Raging Bolt and super aggressive decks. And like Dragapult's fine against those decks. Um, it plays from a one prize board to a multi prize board. So it doesn't really, it doesn't care as much. In fact, I think it's favored against probably most of the multi prize decks, especially if you play Radzard, so. Yeah, see, they got it. Disgusting. I, I threw, though. It's my fault. I have no one to blame but myself and Slap for playing that stupid Garganackle deck. Oh, wait, I could get freaking... I need to throw up a... I could get Ursa Luna. <laughs> don't, don't Luna me, bro, please. I prize E switch. Oh no, I discarded E switch off the rip, right? Yeah. This is awkward. Um. It was a good utility. I guess Night Switcher.
Yeah, Reg Reggie Drago. The one way you can think about it is like, if you take Reggie Drago and Dragapult, Reggie Drago is the more powerful deck. But being being more powerful doesn't always mean for every single meta that you're the better deck. In certain metas, um, if you had Fan Attack, but it probably didn't lead anywhere. It would, yeah, it would just leave like Candy Dustnorn knockout again, and then they Ursaluna start start Ursaluna me. It might have been fine though, to be honest. I didn't really see that I had it there. Um, yeah, Reggie Drago is the more powerful deck compared to Dragapult, but just because you're more powerful doesn't mean you have. It means you have less weaknesses, but it doesn't mean every meta you're better in that meta. Um, it doesn't mean you're better better in every single meta. I think I'm just gonna split my energy here because I'm scared about my like I'm not I don't think I'm gonna get to the act of this turn. I'm scared about my only Palkit nine. Maybe I shouldn't have been scared. I don't know. Um, got the owl in there. Two hoots. I have a hoot in hand too. What the heck? We're hooting. Let's go for the prime, I think. Maybe I should have gone for another Nespo, so I have the out to the Dippity, though. I guess I can get that off the Owl, though. When do you choose 6 HP Pidgey over 50 HP Pidgey? When there's stuff like Dusclops or some combination of spread damage that takes advantage of the lower HP. If there's not any kind of spread damage in the format that takes advantage of the lower HP, you want to play the Pokemon that has le less retreat cost or the better attack. The 50 HP Pidgey has the better attack. They both have one retreat cost. Although there is an argument that Gusts can sometimes be good, especially up against decks like Dragapult. Not Dragapult, Gardevoir, because sometimes if they KO you with a Drifloon, you can return Gust Knockout as a one prizer. So there is like that factor of choosing it so it'd just be like what attack is best against the meta decks yeah so you just ask yourself what is most relevant against the top meta decks the attack the retreat cost or the hp and then based on that you pick which one makes the most sense from there but like there's something to take advantage with each of those things right you know what you asked the same question really really quick there uh, Neiman, I'm not going to tell you anything, actually. I've decided. You'll never know. You'll never know the truth about whether or not we play... What'd you ask? Arvin. You'll never know if we play Arvin. Do you have Arvin? Do we have Arvin? Just tell me. Just tell... I need to know. Do we have Arvin? Nice try. You'll never know the Arvin count in this deck. All right, what do I do here? So I can I could knock out Rotom or Luminion to put them at one prize card, so they can't use Dusk. I, that's probably the better play, right? Just knock out the Rotom or Luminion, put them at one prize card. What's my owl count at? I have a knocked left, right? Oh, I have a one-one left. So I could just go like Nest Ball, zero. Oh, but I need energy, right? I do be needing energy. Maybe like zero, zero stretcher. Okay, zero. Knock out I guess knocking out Rhodey is better than knocking out Luminion, right? I would like to find the owl to put down, or even like Dippity. Like putting down Dippity here would be probably pretty good. And not letting him use any more Dust Snores is probably correct. I mean, knocking out the Pidgey also seems decent, but if they have to commit resources to candy out the Pidgey, like that cuts into their other possible plays, right? So this seems fine. Question Is it important to build your deck having in mind what things could end up in your prize cards, or do you just doesn't care the odds of it are low most of the time you just don't care the odds are low but it is like something you potentially play around it's just like it's meta deck and uh it's just like super specific to like every single deck like it's not it's not it is like important but it's like only as important as it, you should care about it with the deck that you're playing specifically um oh shoot all right you know it's good call out falcon i completely forgot about that i gotta keep that there 
All right, I re-added it. Oh, wait, I, I even had it as the... There we go, even better. I appreciate it, actually. I am trying to minimize those those questions, so... I don't even know when I got rid of it, because it's usually in my... Like, my titles don't fully reset. They go to, like, the last title that I had, so... All right. Has the Mew been worthwhile in Palkia? Uh, yes. Like, constant draw power on board has been really, really good, actually. It's like, draw power our opponent can't disrupt. Or, like, not trigger, right? Like, they... For Pheasantipity... Uh, I should probably play this switch, actually. For, like, Pheasantipity specifically, they could just, like, not take a KO, but still progress towards a win condition. Uh, they can't do that. Uh, so I could have left that bench space open so I could put Fizz and Dippity in play. But if I draw into an energy here, then I can just go attach to this Palkia pass and I'm like in a fine spot. Oh, no, no, we're fine. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait, I have Luminion. Wait, no, wait. No, 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 this works, yeah. I'm trolling. I don't have two cards for Ultra Ball. I thought I like misplayed there. There's a stretcher left, right? Yeah. Play a lot of Iona, though. I don't need two Owl next turn, and I actually don't want them both to get Iona to the bottom of the deck. So I think I'm just going to take one Owl. Tent's super slow. No water energy in the discard pile. I didn't update the list yet. I mean, I like the idea of putting this in play. Um, I could go Hoot Hoot Mew. Move for Terrapagos. Mew is pretty mid right now. I think double Hoot Hoot No Mew is probably better for right now. Yeah, I'll go with it. I'm okay with this. You think the Dunsparce is better than Mew? No, they're not comparable as cards. They shouldn't be compared. Like playing a, how do I explain that? Like if your deck's optimal draw engine is the Dunsparce, it shouldn't factor whether or not you play Mew. Uh, yeah, they're not, they shouldn't just, should not be being compared. Like you can not play the Dunsparce and play Mew. You could play the Dunsparce and play Mew. You could build a deck, for, like you could theoretically build a deck from the ground up and you're like, first like, oh, I need some draw power in here. Let's try Mew. Okay, Mew doesn't feel good enough. Let's try to Dunsparce. Like, yeah, there's just no real reason to compare them, to be honest. All right, Mom. Are they not going to get a Palkia here? Kind of tragic. Yo, Iron Bundle? Wait, say that one more time. In all caps. No, say it twice. Say bun say say Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle. I didn't hear you for the I didn't hear you the first two times. What will be your top three best silver crown decks and what deck do you enjoy playing the most? Uh I the, the deck I join play the most is the next deck I play with, and then top three, I don't know. I haven't played with enough decks in the format. They did end up with the Palkia. Oh, they got two! Dude, in the end, bro, they got the whole squad! All right, let me think for a second. That's a really good top deck. So we can start with Greninja here. To give me more stuff to work with, because my hand is a little bit lacking. Sure, I need a little bit more. YouTube comments come in batches. No, sometimes it just bugs out and sends a bunch of them. I could kill both our double. I could kill blah, 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 both our Duskulls, which is probably just the best play here. Uh, 
Um, that's kind of awkward still, though. Never star. The ghost. I don't need this, right? So I can go like. How am I doing this? I want the possibility to go wide. I want the boss to just be able to KO Billy. I do this. Oh no, I messed up. No, but I can't not do it like this. Shoot. But I only have one discard card. Is there a better way to have done this? I could double owl, right? I go Vessel Ultra. And then Owl again for switch. I can do this. Then Vessel away this. And get this. And then Ultra Ball away this. Grab another Owl. Dude, ultra balling for owls sucks. I wish it was just something that found the owls. Yes, I know what fan Rotom does. All right, it seems fine. Probably always switch before prime. There's three in here now. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I there might have been a better way to sequence that. I don't think there was. I think that was correct. <laughs> it just feels really janky. But it worked, I guess. Yeah, maybe I missed something. Because I want to be able to attach return. What I consider counter catcher in this list. Uh, we had it in here initially, but we're a pretty aggressive deck, so no, probably not. We have prime catcher. We can rely on as an item gust already. A level ball for our owls. That'd be great. If you're on buddy buddy, you could just run them for owls then. I mean, you can. I can still run them for an owl anyways. Like. Doing the fan room turn one isn't the thing. It's like finding them afterwards. Have I seen this rapper goes dust nor deck that uh, Brandon posted on Twitter earlier? Uh, I have. And do you, do you think he'll test it? I mean, I'll try Terrapagos checkmate at some point. Is that what he called it? Uh, Terrapagos checkmate, I think, or Terrapagos dust nor whatever you want to call it. I'll try it at some point. And you could have saved on the second owl there. I mean, you tell me. That's why I asked the question. <laughs> I made the play and was like, I think this is the best thing I could do. If you think I could have, you tell me. It's like the same thing that you did earlier, Falcon, where you're like, shouldn't you have done this instead? It was like, okay, what does that provide me? You, sh you don't you don't tell me what it does. You just tell me that you think. I don't have the answer. My answer was this. What would be your answer to the question of the hand we had? When's the next deck, Doctor? Uh, Friday or Saturday? I have to look back. All right, we'll look back. Now I'm giving you homework, Falcon, because you, because you, because you, you asked that question. I'm giving you. You have to look, go, go back in the VOD on YouTube or Twitch, and then tell me if there's something else. Nope, you've, 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 you've brought us to this point. Now you have to go back in the VOD and you have to tell me if there was something better we could have done. I'm not saying there isn't. There could have been. <clears throat> I've given you homework. Uh. You have to go check, or I'm gonna. If you have to go check, or I'm gonna time you out. That's it. Let me let me know your findings. I expect you have to show your work too. Imagine getting homework from a YouTuber. Hey man, he dared press me with the question. That's on him. <sighs> this thing is kind of annoying. I just want to like race through the active, but that's like not realistic right now. Um, I could go with Prime here instead, I guess. Oh, this, that's so annoying that they killed my Terrapagos because I can't like go wide. Interesting. That's pretty good. Uh, pretty good for them. I don't have a stadium, so I can't even fan him this. It has to be like just set up two Palkias, right? So weird though. 
Okay. Do you think there could be a competitive deck built around the new Slow King? Maybe. I don't think it has the potential, but... Not terrible. Yeah, it really sucks we never had that turn of going like super wide. Now we're kind of, yeah, we're kind of stuck. We'll see if we draw off this though. Maybe it'll be enough to like get something cooking. Nothing's overly cooking. All right, all right. I'm going to remove their Dippity from play, which is just like kind of good, but. Wait, yeah, yeah. For some reason I thought I couldn't KO it, but no, we can definitely KO if it's in Dippity. And skippity. <clears throat> you were to stretcher? I mean, that doesn't give me access to a big bench. I need the stadium. I don't have the stadium. Now we have the stadium. Yeah, having the stadium. I, I would I would have done that. I would have went and gotten recovered to Rapagos or <laughs> Ogre Pond if I had a stadium. Where do you find Pokemon coaches? On Metify metify.gg wait Dude, i don't even remember the name of the site yeah metify.gg a second guessing myself there second guessing myself i think the arc armorage deck from ball has any potential no I hate that pheasant skibbity sort of fits. Just be that way sometimes. All right, so they can KO my active. Wait, yeah. They can KO my active with popping dust snore plus Palkia knockout. Um, but at that point they can't knock out another Palkia V star. But if they I don't me to one here, it's gonna be a tough recovery to be honest. If yeah, if they I don't me to one here, I don't know how I ever recover. They're down three Iona though, so this has to be the last Iono. Okay. I don't have to win this turn. I don't have to win this turn. We can push a Palky of Vault to V-Star attach pass. But I wouldn't mind winning this turn. And it is possible for me to win this turn. Let's see what we can do. I think I vessel away this. Because I actually might need this to fill my bench. I want to hit the stadium. Oh, I have the stadium. I want to hit a stretcher. Excuse me. Let's just hit the stop then. Let's hit the stop first. I guess I can just punch. Wait, wait, what? Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dub. We just drew into the E switch. I don't really think about that as like a win condition, to be honest. Bonkin. Another one. All right. I don't know. Should we keep playing? <laughs> we were still. I feel like I should run out the win streak, right? Because if we hit some kind of crazy win streak, that'd be kind of cool. But we've only won what, like three or four in a row now? Um, maybe not now. I'm gonna play a little bit slower. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what they're playing at here. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Help. Guys, can we play a one-on-one -on -one backslide in this deck? Oh, way. <laughs> okay. Dude, do not say they're going to pass. Okay. <laughs> I like there's just no way. Don't do it. Don't pass. Would have been hilarious if they had passed, though. All right, it's a pretty bad, uh, dude, they are cooking, bro. What the? All right, pretty bad, uh, matchup, I think. Barrios. Yeah, how do I tackle this? I kind of want to go kill the Rotom, right? We should just, like, remove the Rotom from the equation. 
I'm doing 160 right now, so I gotta bench two more things. I can bench just like two more Palkias, I guess. Everything on board can attack currently, which is something as well. Um, I'm knockout, I guess. I'm gonna take this thing as well, I guess. Uh, no. I do want to fill my bench to get myself out of reach of. Man, this is just so bad. Is dealing 60 enough? Not really, right? Is dealing 70 with this thing en enough? Because they can't run me out of stadium. Like, what, like, their only stadium replacement is a stadium. So if I put a stadium in play. No, I want Mew though. I want Mew. Yeah, Mew's the perfect thing to grab here. <clears throat> um, Jordan wouldn't be terrible around to keep it to Kamimi, penning back. Oh, true. Yeah, maybe we do go like this then. Okay, I'm I'm cool with this. Oh, I should have burned this. Shoot, I'm an idiot. Could have drawn one more off restart. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Let's get it. Oh my. Yeah, I just want to stay out of I don't want to get fluted. I don't want worse things to get fluted, I guess. What's the list? List is in the Discord if you want it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really should play that in this ball. Definitely know. Also on the neutral zone, Snorlax that made a top 16 seems. Really unique as far as Sonarx, let's go. I was wondering like what, what does it do? I know what it does, but like, what is the, what do we do with it? Uh, can we flute them back? Yo, we could set up some kind of flute boss combo to retreat something actually. Yeah, what is it? I know what it does, but like, what does it do? You know, what is it? What are we, what are we getting out of it? How many energy? Got nine. See, there's the gust on my dippity. <clears throat> I'm just gonna attach three times to Dippity, right? Like, they always bring up Dippity here, right? You'd never bring up anything else. Well, I mean, I guess you could bring up Greninja. That wouldn't be terrible, actually. But I could carry your Mimikyu, which I think I would just go for. Discard energy. Try and find a. Yeah. So now I just go attach to Dippity Pass, I guess. <clears throat> okay, I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't mind top decking energy though, to be honest. So I'm not going to play this yet. Well, there's two headquarters. So I assume you force big basic decks to remove that. And once they have, you remove. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I honestly forgot about that card. I should have played the vessel. I completely forgot about getting Eerie'd or Misfortune Sistered. Okay. Oh, I can't play that though. No, no, I can't because I don't have a terrible Pokemon in play. Literally, like, actually, I got punished. Holy smokes. Yeah, I forgot about Eerie. It's definitely correct to just play the vessel there. Oh. I see what they get. I forget, does this update in real, te uh, real time? Or do they have to, like, close it and then open it again? We'll see. Oops. Uh... Yuri Countercatcher? Yuri is so much worse now, though. So appreciate the uh, tier four over on the YouTube bowl. Come to the pack. A lot of situations, but we got plenty of Yuri. Is magnificent. Thank you. I actually crafted it myself. I uh, I kept the vessel in my hand, you know, so uh, my opponent would eerie me, and uh, then I would get to have this hand. It's exactly what I was looking for, you know what I'm saying? It's not much, but you know, <clears throat> you know, I do what I can, so it's, it's pretty chill, though. No one really has like a better hand than this one, you know what I'm saying? Dude, you're so cringe. 
unbelievably cringe. Yeah, this matchup is miserable. What is this on? Oh, it's a golden bravery charm. I didn't know what that was at first. Uh, always a step ahead. <laughs> All right, so I don't really want to. Honestly, the best top, like the best thing to do from here is boss. How many energy are in here? I think I just wait. Yeah, the best thing to do from here is boss, because I can pivot this. Because if I have boss, but this is my active, I can't retreat this. But haha, <laughs> my hand is all Pokemon. You fool! Damn it! <laughs> They know. Honestly, if they had brought up Fan Rotom, though, I was only hitting this thing for 30 damage because they do have an Assault Vest. So bringing up Fan Rotom might have been better there. I don't ever win on timeout, right? I don't, I shouldn't, right? We should deck out before then. This is the really tough part to get installed. Like we got rid of their Rotom aggressively. Uh, yeah, we got rid of their Rotom aggressively, but then we weren't able to capitalize on like forcing them to need a bunch of stuff every single turn without Rotom because like we weren't, we didn't draw like into aggressive pivot cards uh, ourselves. So we're just kind of stuck with this massive hand of Pokemon and <laughs> could you Did I say deck out? I thought I said timeout. Did I say this? I thought I said that. I guess we just go for the switch though, right? Just be aggressive. Yeah, just switch and bonk. We be bonking. We also remove their assault vest from play, which is nice for sure. Doesn't fan go through effects? This guy? No, it just can't attack if there's not a stadium in play. Well, they definitely have a counter catcher here. Oh, they're gonna go get one. Okay, what are they down to? One. Oh, jeez. Are they putting Rodian play here? Hold up, hold up. Oh, it could be a Pidgeot angle actually. Oh, interesting. They must have it in hand. They know if they didn't bench that, I don't kill it. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing, man? You're throwing, you're trolling. Maybe they don't know. I literally couldn't kill this. Oh my. That was something right there. Yeah, I literally couldn't kill this until they bench the other Snorlax. Oh, I forgot I have that. We win this with flute now? We can, yeah, we could win with Loom. I mean, I can't get like a really wide bench or anything like that. <laughs> get away! The two energy that I put here feels really bad now. And I just want to go see what I have left. But I want to play this. I don't want to play this. I could just cancel Cologne KO, but I don't KO the next guy. I kind of want to go like attach, attach, retreat. Ability knockout 90. Yeah, I think I want to do that. I think that's the play. I think attach, attach, retreat ability is the play here. Are we going to have Eerie Cologne here? Yeah, of course. If they have Eerie, it sucks, but I can't play around it. Like, Misfortune Sisters also equally sucks. Like, I have my Switch in there, I think. Oh, my Switch is gone. I already used it. Hmm. All right, it's not that big of a deal then. Yeah, we could Paul KV for, well, it's gonna be hard to Paul KV now for 200, but did they add Eerie, uh, at Eerie a while ago? Uh, I don't know, I don't, uh, maybe, I don't know what you mean. Brought him at Mimikyu? 
Oh, yeah, I could have done that, actually. Hold up. Well, I would have to have burned my ability, though. I just don't want to burn Starportal yet if I don't have to, right? They just used Eerie. They did They did use a Eerie. I don't know if this is the other Eerie. They might. Have, they probably played two Eerie, so... Okay, so Canceling Clone is guaranteed on the bottom of the deck. I have a 19-card barrier between me and Eerie. Or buffer, I should say. Maybe not barrier. Oh, I can e-switch this one off this now. That's pretty good. I mean, we'll see what they do here. I don't know. Are they just going to pass with this thing in the active? Why do they keep benching these things? <laughs> they just need to stop so the thing doesn't KO them. You're throwing. You're trolling. What are you doing? What's the win condition here? Uh, draw our last prize card. Dub. We got Canceling Clone on the bottom of our deck somewhere. We just gotta wait for it. It's in the bottom. Wait, how many cards are on top of the deck? I drew two. Draw two, draw, draw. Four, 14. 14 cards away. I can't believe you're gonna win this. Sometimes your opponent just throws. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want from me, Slap? Right? What do you want from me? All right? I can't play for them. <clears throat> Would Rapkos be used over Ogre Palm because it's a better attacker if Palky isn't available? Could be. We do play a. Well, no, no, no. The Ogre. All right. Ogre Palm is better because it has one retreat cost. And we can irritate for it. So the answer is no. Ogre Palm is just better. That is a pro of playing Terrapagos, but it does not outweigh the pros of playing the other guy. Dude. I think they forgot about... <laughs> There's no way that was... Wait. Although, what else would they have done? No, maybe they'd have another play. I guess maybe, yeah, maybe they had nothing. That's fair. That's fair. They probably had nothing. Rotom win? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I could have just won with Rotom. Oh. All right, this works too. Dude, I'm just like, I'm just like not very lucky, you know? All right. It honestly might be an assault landing angle next turn. Ooh, benching two is maybe not correct. I, I might regret that. Um... I want Canceling Clone. I want Flute. I want this. I could Vessel this. Oof. Um, no. I don't think that's correct. I'm just going to go Attach. Turn one Assault Landing. Dude, never bugged, bro. What the heck? <clears throat> I don't think Beautiful Field instead of Mew. Probably worse. It's a lot more to set up, and it's a two retreat Pokemon. The two retreat cost is like the biggest thing I'm trying to avoid. I think only has one, right? Okay. Yeah, the two or three costs are the biggest thing I'm trying to avoid. Can I play the OG energy trio that mentions the discard of a card in tournament play? Uh I don't I don't know. You maybe can. They have a they have an errata list uh somewhere on the website. Flute is not important against Guardian, no? Nope. Because you can fill their bench with garbage. <clears throat> so they can't attack with what they want to attack and like set up new Ralts on the next turn. Honestly, fluting right now could have been good because if I hit like, maybe I don't want to put Klefki in play, but if I hit like garbage, that could have filled their bench up and then maybe they don't have bench space for Manaphy and a bunch of rolls. So I maybe should just like flute it immediately. But I think waiting is probably correct. They're probably not going to get a five Pokemon bench off the rip. Oh, there goes Turo. Initiate the... <laughs> Did we actually just hit him with it? Oh, we can't even get a knockout this turn. I should, I, go, I should probably go into Water Pond, right? To trap the active for a turn. It honestly kind of makes sense. I don't even know what else I would do this turn, to be honest. Dead card. 
Ooh, pretty good card actually. I can't attack this turn. I have two V stars here. Oh, Greninja's prized. Um, yeah, I think it is a uh, a sob angle to be honest. That's as good as any to flute him, right? Um. Even them Greninja gives them more draw power on board, but it clogs up their board more the later the game goes. Yeah, I'm down. Feels a little awkward, but I think it's probably correct. A little awkward, a little weird. All right, let's track these prize cards real fast. It's like late game Greninja falls off. It doesn't fall off super heavily late game, but it's definitely one of those cards where it's like you want to... The Guardi player wants to be the one who chooses to put Greninja in play. It doesn't want to be forced to put Greninja in play. So... I feel like it's probably beneficial for me to force it in play on them. Yeah, they want to do it like by choice. They don't want to be like, well, now I just have this freaking thing in play. Unlucky. We are sobbing, right? Yeah. Um, I could area zero nest ball for Mew, or I could just chill and sob. Sob chilling is probably fine. Yeah, it's okay. That's <clears throat> on ancient box area zero with baby moon and Karidon. Sounds terrible. They have an energy like that, bro. Dude, every time I put Greninja on their bench with the flute, they always have the energy in their hand immediately. It's so disgusting. I hate the RNG of PDCG Live. Like, that would never happen IRL. IRL, my opponent would be like, well, I don't want to find any, way, any of my good cards, so I guess I'll just pass. That's literally what happens every time I play against Guardia IRL. PDCG Live is so different than IRL gameplay, man. It's so annoying. Thoughts on having thoughts about people's thoughts of decks? It's, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Get another PT, PTCG L moment with rigged RNG. <laughs> you create the monster, your, the monsters yourself, and then complain about them later. <laughs> you created your own problem. Design me to do. Yeah, playing to play, uh, being able to play Area Zero after they have played a stadium is super, super good for us. Super, super good. Door, double door. They only have one Curlia in play. I don't even know what I want to do here now. I probably do just Greninja. I'm actually not even sure what I want to. I don't even know what I want to do here now. This is such a weird situation. We're going to be bending some minds, I guess. Like obviously we're moving there. Oh, they forgot to. Oh, now I can KO the Dory and the Curlia. I'm definitely down for that. I'm down for that. Let's get them. KO KO with Greninja. Oh, I could use this actually. I could hit him with a young pump. <laughs> we pump on him? Probably correct. All right. Oh, I didn't, oh wait, I couldn't. I was like, oh, wait, I didn't use the artisan. I couldn't use the artisan. What are you thinking? Oh, I am confused. Yeah, I don't want a confused pump. Never mind. I don't want a harder treat either, though. I want to re uh, retain the energy. And this deck got so much better when I added the third vessel. Holy. I could prime, I guess.
Yeah, like I could prime. I don't really want to prime though. But I could. Dude, what is their discard pile doing? Chill out. It's not that serious, dog. Do I get the prime? 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 Yeah, I just really don't want to... Huh. I want to leave this energy here so I can Torrential Pump later. So I can put three here, attach return here, and I could go like... Last Trumpet, E-Switch, attach later onto this to use Torrential Pump. If they KO my Greninja on the next turn. That involves me using Prime Catcher, which is, it feels a little... Like if I just had Switch in the deck, I would just Switch. I don't have switch. Using prime feels bad though. It just feels bad. Wait, did I price Mew EX? Where's my Mew? Oh, I wouldn't have been able to see it there. <laughs> um, all right. I guess though, okay, okay. Let me, let me go a little bit further with that though. If they don't KO my Greninja, I can E-switch to Greninja. And if they do KO my Greninja, I'm probably content with that situation, right? Oh, it's probably correct to still just play it like this. I guess, like, think that through a little bit further. Dippity could have been better there, maybe, but it doesn't feel like it was that much better. <sighs> if they don't KO my Greninja, I have the E-switch combo with Greninja. And if they do KO Greninja, they're getting a one prize turn, so I should be fine. Because saving, because if I'm doing this play as well, I am. If I'm going for this play right now, if I KO their guard for next turn, it's possible they can't actually set up another guard for, and I can just KO. I can just KO this next turn, and then they run out of energy acceleration, depending on what they attack with this turn. Um, so this turn is going to be a big deal for them, but we'll see what we'll see what happens. But if I had switched, I definitely would have conserved the energy in play. Thoughts on running Kieran? Uh, it doesn't seem very good. Trauma plus Balkay with a one of Chi and Pao. Uh, be good for taking a big KO. Without area zero in play, makes sense? No, I don't think so. It's just bad. The only thing, would, like, the only matchups it would matter against would be, like, Charizard. Maybe Dragapult, but probably only Charizard is the only matchup it actually matters against. So the question would just be, like, do we need, if that is that a missing piece for the Charizard matchup? Because if it is a missing piece for the Charizard matchup, to have some big one hit KO Pokemon at the end of the game, then, like, we could include it, obviously, but. Um, yeah, overall. Chi and Pat does not seem very good. We play Trumpet just for the one of E-Switch? Yes. It also gives us... It's also like an effective Switch card for these Pokemon. Wait, can you Trumpet onto the active? Oh, no, you can't. Okay, never mind. It's not an effective Switch card for these Pokemon. <clears throat> I take it back. It's just for the E-Switch. All right, that's our second Artisan. That should be the last Artisan here. What's on Iron Leaves plus some Grass Energy in this Rizard? Uh, no, it sounds terrible. I'd rather play another Flute, probably, just to hope to hit some stuff off the top and one-hit KO them, or... Or put a 2 prize in play. Shh. Oh, you're cooking, dog. Chill. Okay, we're cooking. Never mind. We're trying uh, any deck with Grand Tree yet? No, no Grand Trees yet. Although, I don't really want a Noctowl before... Hmm. What are they even going with here? Oh, they're gonna... Oh, that's not very good for me. Never mind, they're cooking. They're cooking. They're... Oh, wait, wait. You guys think they'll do it? They'll do it. Oh, they're going to go care of the Mew. <laughs> I was like, please go after my, uh, I thought they were going to go after my, my other guy, this guy. No, this guy. The Ogre Pawn. Like one time. Uh, 
Uh, I think there's a hoot hoot I can grab here. I have a noctowl to go with it. I do. Okay. We do that. We open the board up again. Now the question is, what do I do from here? What do I want to do from here? I honestly just kind of want to KO their active and Iono them. I just want to go KO active Iono. So maybe I just go... Because they have no, they don't have no draw power in play. They don't have that much draw power in play. I get E-switch from Greninja up. Noctowl for Iono Dippy. I don't know. That seems solid. I think I'm going to go for that. I could also, like, reach... I mean, I could still want to kill their guard board here, depending on how I draw, right? So... Dip it even in here? I believe it is. If he is here. Yeah, I think I'll just go for it like this. I think it gives me the most options. Ooh, do I have a V-Star left? I should, right? If not, I definitely have a stretcher left. Maybe both stretchers, I'm actually not sure. I've concealed, I have like, yeah, I have a lot of stuff to work with here. Okay, let's fill the script. How many energy do I have left? Three, four, five, six, seven. Not a ton. Get rid of the Billy. Glass Trump doesn't really matter too much, but it could create a one prizer actually out of a knock towel. I'd probably get rid of these two to be. Well, no, no how, how much do I want to be able to fill my bench though is the question. I think I do get rid of these. Feels bad, but I did have one left. Should I just glass trumpet right now? I probably just can, right? I guess, well, no, I couldn't really get into one of these this turn. But no, I want to do a scat because if they can't my active, I want to be able to, like, get into it. I always, I always think Glass Trump can attach to the active, but you can't. So, yeah, it's just get out of the way now. Yeah, doing, having a scream tail like this feels pretty bad, to be honest, but I think it's fine. I think we'll be okay. Yo, appreciate the prime sub there, Etter. From the rat pack. A lot of thoughts. We got plenty of misfortune. Never lucky. What did I get off my prize cards there? Just a Palkia V? Okay. So I still have a decent amount of basics left. I could definitely fill my bench and want to kill this. And I have my flute left as well, I believe. Let's we'll see what they actually go for here, though. <clears throat> Buy the old hoot hoot over the new one. Wait, honestly, I don't even know. Is this the wrong hoot hoot? Is there a better hoot hoot? I'm unaware of uh, the optimal hoot hoot, to be honest. <clears throat> oh, does, is this the one with 70 HP? Oh, that's why then. No, this is the Temple Forces one. Has a one energy attack, but it's a coin flip. Yeah. But this one, this is the better one just because of the HP to play around Dragapult. Oh, they're both 70 HP? Oh, then the new one's the better one then. Yeah, the new one's the better one if it has a one energy attack. We're actually playing the wrong Hoot Hoot then. Yeah, for sure. Three coins, ten for each head. Oh yeah, we're playing the wrong hoot hoot. I think I probably just looked up hoot hoot and I don't own any of the new ones. This is the one that popped up, so I just assumed this was the correct one. They super hard for Ralts and not getting Ralts here would be weird. They so I but getting Ralts here is also weird. Yeah, they're not, you're never getting Ralts here, dude. All right, do you think they'll do it this time? They might do it. They might do it. 
it's possible that they do it. The new who takes two energy to attack. Oh, it takes two energy to attack? Oh. I'll have to read this new hoot hoot. I'm gonna have to read this thing. Dude, it just never lucky, man. I think they are gonna go for it, but it is correct to go for it now. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> On after the dippity. They're not KOing it. They can just punch it really hard. <laughs> just gonna. Okay, Adrenaline Brain off the Guardy. Do the Dippity. Sure. And then punch it. Okay, okay. Yeah, and the next turn they can... Oh, my. They actually did it. <laughs> I was like, all right. It's, all, it's coming together. It's coming together. They got the play going. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. All right. Good plays. Good plays. Um, oh, I can kill this. With Prime. Dude, no way! <laughs> what? That's so tilting, holy shit. I have two energy left. That's insane. <clears throat> okay, so I can do this. I can concealed cards into my prime catcher now. Hey, we got this still. Watch this, watch this. Why not knock towel? Because I knew I was gonna get night stretcher off of my card to get the knock towel. Bodied. No, I should have gotten. Um, I should have just got treasure there to get the thing. Yeah, got lost in the sauce. Let's try again. Take two. Of Ko the Guardy. So we need a full. A full bench, full bench, right? What was left in my deck? There's an Irida. There's no Pokemon in there, though, right? No. There's a Noctowl. I could bench this and attach to it. And then I have... Yeah, okay, okay. Bench. Bench. Punch. Dude. Fringe. <clears throat> I'm trying out that deck that Isaiah posted. And I have no idea what's going on. Suggestions? Uh, just keep playing the deck. Do different. Do if if you do something and it seems bad, do something else. Body them. We cooked them. Let's go. 